let's look at what the information is given to us. In the diagram, BC is parallel to DE. That's what the two lines there mean. That means it's parallel. And you can see that here they've put in the arrows. BC is parallel to DE. And the line BC, this one here, bisects, means it splits in half the angle ABE. ABE. So since it splits it in half, that means that these two angles are equal to each other. Bisect meaning split in half. And that's what they say, angle W is equal to angle X. And they want us to prove that triangle BDE is isosceles. BDE. So they want us to prove that those two are the same length. And another way to think about proving an isosceles triangle is to remember that base angles in an isosceles are equal. So basically we're trying to prove, in a way, that angle Y is equal to angle Z. So, where would we begin? We don't know it's isosceles, so we'll take off those marks for now and think if we can find our way through this. So, I know that W and X are equal to each other, and somehow I need to prove that Y and Z are equal to each other, so I might find a connection between W and these letters down here. And the first thing I notice is that um, these parallel lines allow us to see corresponding angles. So here, Y and W are corresponding angles. So I might say angle W is equal to angle Y, corresponding angle on parallel line equal. And then I can say because angle X is equal to angle W, it's also equal to angle Y, because I know those are already equal. Okay, so I know I've got that is equal to Y and that is equal to Y. So is there any connection I can make to either of those with Z? And if I look for another shape in here, I can actually find a Z angle, an alternate angle in there. So I can say angle X is equal to angle Z. And my reason for that is that alternate angles on parallel lines equal. So x and z are equal to each other. And I already know, since x is equal to y, um, I will say in here then that angle y is therefore equal to angle z. And since angle y equal angle z as base angles in triangle D, B, E, or using the letters they used, B, D, E, it must be isos, isosceles triangle. And there we are. So making those connections using parallel lines and again trying to go from what we know and making connections to what we don't know so that we can try to relate them.